Hi guys, so let us do an uh, update on NSD card. I remember I have uploaded an opportunity on NSD card, but I want to show you how you trade whenever you have an opportunity. You know, there are five things that I keep telling my students, and I want you to understand those th the five things today. Number one, I speak to my student about when to buy. Number two, when to sell. Number three, when to hold. Number four, when to exit. Number five, when to avoid. You see, this is the five things that will help you as a trader to be able to have an edge in the market. So there is the when to buy, when to sell, like that. Number three, number four, and the last one, number five. Now you need to understand, anytime you want to buy, which pattern are you using? What strategy that are you using? For me, if you have been in this channel, I really, uh, I love patterns. For me, I'm not, um, I'm not, a trader who uses indicators, moving average, no. I'm a pure price action trader who uses patterns. So as the market moves, I can get a pattern. And with that pattern, it will help you, help me to know when to buy, when to sell. So it's easy to teach you when to sell or when to buy. But the question is, when do you hold? So we want to discuss on when to hold. This is the video today. And we will have a trade that had given us an opportunity, but when do you hold? Do you hold that trade or what makes you, you can hold the market? Another thing, when do you exit? When do you avoid? So what we will try to do in this video, I want us to know the trades that you're supposed to hold or when to exit or when to avoid. And because holding comes by learning how to exit and avoid, I think, um, I might go for when to exit mostly. Many people don't like exiting, when to exit. And then we will we'll discuss when to avoid and then maybe the next lesson will be when to hold. So when to exit, that's what the lesson is because we can't start from holding and you don't know that everything is going wrong. So you need to be very alert. First of all, you know that things are not going the way they are supposed to go, you exit. Then once you start exiting the trades that you have been holding, uh, you have been entering, now you will start practicing on holding. So this lesson, as we are doing an SD card update, I want to show you when to exit. Now, this was our trade, guys. When I was doing NSD, um, when I was doing the NSD analysis, this was my trade. So this is a simple, this is a simple lesson. So we had this double top. We had the neckline. We had the neckline. And then we find our half. So we have the double top, the neckline, and the half, guys. So I have this half. Uh, it was a matter of asking ourselves, is this double top on the daily? So I go to the daily. So I went to the daily, and I could not find that double top. See? So it was a very good trade to enter. So I was asking myself, what will I used to enter NSD card. So this is what I used. You will use CSB. So wait, all along, I want to teach you when to exit a trade. So this is a trade that you have analyzed and you're hoping for CSB current support break to happen for you to enter. So when you come here, you will get your current support because there is that green, red candle followed by green, so we get our current support immediately. The minute now we get our current support, we are hoping this current support, the market will break, see? 
we are hoping for the market to break. So as we were hoping, when I was doing that video, the market broke. So this market breaks like this, the market breaks like this, and it has given us an opportunity to sell. So where are we selling to? We are selling short position. We are selling up to here. So it was an easy trade that day. So for Tuesday 5, uh, Tuesday at 9, the candle closes, and we have a whole day. There are things that shows you if you want to exit this trade or you keep holding because you can't avoid once you have entered. So you have only two options. Either you hold to the take profit or you exit if you sense danger. So this is what I tell people. When we were trading this pair, the next candle, the market dropped. It gave us how many pips? It gave us 12 pips and the market started to come back up. So the market is going up and it started to come back up. The question is, is there a reason for me to keep holding this trade? Is there something that I didn't, I missed? So if you want to know if you want to exit, the only thing that can make you exit if it is there is a, a double bottom that have been activated on your left. So there's no double bottom activated. You go to one hour, you're trying to check what can make this market just go up. There's no double bottom activated. That is one hour. But what you find, note on two hours, I want you to note guys, because I'm teaching you when to exit. On four hour, on two hour and on four hour, there's nothing much. In fact, we are thinking, why is this market for two, two candles, eight hours, behaving like this. One candle is a hammer, it's like a hammer pin or something, meaning that the sellers are getting rejected. And the next one is a spinning top. Guys, I told you, whenever you have a ranging of a candle, there is something that you, you can exit. If the market starts to range here like this one, one, two, three, just close that trade, you exit. Why? Because the market is looking for a way out. They don't know if they continue to sell or they reject. So because it's not clear, once you find I, the market is at the same area that you found, because the market should be going lower. If you enter the trade, if you enter the trade, the market should be going lower. If you enter the trade, the market should be going lower. And now you come back, the market, yes, it has gone low, it's given you a pin bar, but it has failed to break that low. Already there's a red flag. Why? Because the market, I, I, know, I don't know if you're getting, when the market is going down, it goes down like this. So that is the first red candle. Then another red candle, then another red candle like that. So when the market has a very healthy sell, the market go lower. But if you find the red candle now does not go any lower, in fact, the green candle comes up, it's a red flag. Why? Because it has not created a new low. And that's what happened here. The market all along, I want you to note from this red candle, there was a low, and then the market had a low, and then the market even pushed lower, and then this low. Can you can you see? I hope you can see, guys. So we had this support, and then the first candle, the red candle, went lower than this support. Then the next candle went no lower than that, and then but here something is happening. The market has stopped to go lower. That's your first red flag why is the market coming that way so you first think will i go to lower time frame to check what is happening if you go to two hour time frame you just see 
two candles staying in one place. So this is like one candle ranging. And we all know what one candle ranging does. One candle ranging, it, where it breaks, that's where it will go. So this, the market has stayed for two hours. For first two hours, second two hours, two hours, two hours. So for good eight hours, the market is ranging. And then, like I told you, if you ever find this is a cross or something, like it's a very, um, it's like a cross or an indecision candle. This is an indecision candle, another red flag. So on four hour, you might not see red flag. But when you go to lower time frame, there is red flag. And that's why I tell people, I might give a trade here, but don't think when you give a trade, you just hold your hands and wait for take profit. You're supposed, when the trade is running, it is your work to check on the red flags. Do I keep holding or, or I, I should exit? Now let's go to one hour. When we go to one hour, guys, what do we find? We find a double bottom. We find a double bottom on one hour. Remember, this double bottom is not even available on two hours. So on two hours, you can't see anything. On two hours, guys, you can't see anything. So guys, you know, many people texted me yesterday. Should I hold NSD card? Should I hold? And for me, I knew when this NSD card, I was on a sell. And then the market came down and activated a double bottom. So for me, I knew this double bottom because it had been activated. Let me exit. Because I know with a double bottom, it is a a buy. And if that double bottom breaks, where is this market going? It's going this distance. So I didn't want to answer everyone. So I said, let me do this video to help many people to know when do they exit a trade when a trade has given them an entry. So this is to show you that, yes, for I can give you a double top CSB. You are selling, but every four hours, come and check, come and check. Why is this market not hitting TP? What is this that the market has made? What is this confirmation that I don't know of? So the market has said it is going there. You see, it's a matter of the market breaking. And imagine you can even, you're seeing this market will go all the way. And you're thinking, now what do I do? So this is, um, this is, uh, you are your first attempt, and this is your second attempt. This is your second attempt. So when you come to two hours, we want to see, do you see that double top, double bottom? No double bottom. What did we say about double bottom on one time frame? Powerful. When you come to four hours, do you have a double bottom? No, you do not have a double bottom. Now, why would you not think that they won't use the double bottom on one hour? for their own agenda. Why would you not think they will do that? So let's see what happens. After one hour, the market struggles to break. Let's see, did they break? We want to see, did they break? We want to see if they broke the neckline. They didn't break the neckline. So the neckline is there. They didn't break. So already you have exited this trade. Why did you exit? It's because of this double bottom that is on one hour and it's not on four hour. So the minute the market breaks like that, so it has broken the, the neckline, meaning it is going upward. And as you speak, that's what you have. The market went and broke and continued. So I want to show you something. The exit point was here. You could not have been in this street. Now, if you want to enter again, you'll go back to your four hour. Already you're not on this trade. And ask yourself, I have no, I have canceled my trade here for a reason. But already, now I'm not looking on the double top on the four hour only. I'm looking on this small double top. Guys, can you see this small double top? This is what I'm looking. If I will enter again, NSD card, they have to break half or break CSB. And let me tell you, I told you two things. If you have a double top, notice that two things can happen. You can get a um, cup and handle or you can get a complete double top. So what makes you think that 
this double top will obey and break. Now, you're not supposed to be entering. You see, the pattern has shifted. Pattern one, now we're in pattern two. Don't you think pattern three, that's what they will use? What if they use this as our cup and handle? So there are chances that this market can go up. There's high chances that the market can go up to there because that's our pattern three. A lot of chances. So NSD card, remove your mind from buying, from selling, and think what if it goes that direction? Where will they, what will they be activating at that area? Will, be they, will they be activating anything? Of course, there is a double top. So they can make sure they take the market up there so that now they work with the double top that has no interference. So this double top, if the market now activates and comes to this area, I want to show you something. Everyone will have given up on this trade because they will have been taken on a drawdown of how many pips? Almost 73 pips. So they will be like, ah, I think this market doesn't want to move, but it was a setup. Once the market activates that double top, when we go to the daily, we want to check, is the daily double top there? That double top, it's not there. And if they activate the upper one, let me show you the other one they can activate because this longer week seems like they can activate that. So they can activate either this one. There are two double tops here, potential double tops to be activated. Let's wait for it. And they can also activate, they can also activate this one. You see, we have to, we have the first one and we have the second one. So they can activate this one. So from where the market is, you might think, oh, this market is a sell and it's supposed to go another 120 feet. So what I'm trying to say is that anytime you get a red flag, I think exiting is the most thing that many people avoid and don't pay attention. Entering a trade, let me tell you, it is easier. Exiting a trade, it is very, very hard. I want you to be very careful. Once you enter a trade, have the spirit of exiting. So for me, I might look at NSD card in a buy way. I may not buy, but I will not sell now because I know it's a trap. So if you can see, they might fail to come here and come and activate 8286. They may activate 8286. Again, if you were to check on the candles formation, this is a dragonfly. This candle is a dragonfly. Dragonfly suggests that the market will go up. Market will go up. So for me, what I can tell you guys is that NSD card, it was a good trade, but the minute they started to, build, to, to range and everything, already that thing was changed. So at this time, you're not supposed to be trading NSD card. What you're supposed to be doing is to wait for those zones. I always say it's better to take one trade, one trade that is perfect, than taking 20 trades that you lose 19 trades. So it's better you take one trade that is perfect and you'll come and tell people, but there this trade, I found this and this. So for me, this double top, again, let me tell you another thing that has made this double top not to work. For me, when I flipped on the weekly time frame, when I flipped on the weekly time frame, I found something. So I found a market that had a double bottom and the market is at the neckline. This alone also made me not be interested with selling. Why? Because anything can happen at this resistance. At resistance, I taught you, the market can either break the resistance or can get rejected. Why would I want to, to just assume? So I will not assume because when you check NSD card from weekly perspective, the market has tested this area three times. One, two, and this is the third one. Let me tell you, even if the market sells, this was not the best shot on this trade. 
because it's like trying to trade a ranging channel inside. So everything about this trade uh, is telling us just to be a little bit patient because when you look at the higher time frame, like weekly, the market is still ranging. So even if we have the double top on four hour, that is um, only on four hour, we have to ask ourselves, this double top that we are seeing, this is the double top that we are seeing, this small double top, this is what we are seeing on four hour. It's what we have to ask ourselves. That double top can be used to, to do many things. Even it can't be seen on weekly. It can be because it's this one candle. So that small double top, the only safest way when this market breaks out, we will be able to tell what to do. Even if it is just a small break, we'll know what to do. So NSD card, we have decided to exit the trade because on one hour, they activated the double bottom that was not there. So for us, we have been trading a double top thinking, oh, the market is going to the neckline and you have not seen. So we were trading this double, double top thinking and hoping the market will come to the neckline, not knowing on one hour, the market had already formed a new pattern. And like I've said, every pattern that is only on one time frame, it is easier, easily for it to be activated. If you find a double top on, on the lower time frame, like this, this is a double bottom, it was easily activated. You see, it was only on one hour and that's why the market has gone up. So the other thing you can find on four, you have a double top, but on one hour, there's a double bottom. So for me, I believe, I believe for a fact that this market has, um, this market has a double double top on the double top on four hour, but the thing is we have a double bottom on one hour that made the market as for us to cancel. So what I need to ask you is that, or pay attention on the weekly, allow the weekly to break, allow the weekly to break. Let's be patient for either the resistance to be broken or support to have an edge on this trade. Thank you so much, guys. For watching i love you so much all the best i will do another one on gbp card bless you love you